All right, welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We continue talking football. The UEFA Champions League final between Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid at the Wembley in London is set for Saturday. And in attendance will be Pepito Barrett Jr. Pepito, courtesy of Joss Bet, Jamaica and Sports Max, won a trip for two to watch this season's Champions League final. Well, Pepito, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. How are things in the UK? All right, good afternoon, everyone. Things are great, I must say. Thanks to the sports max and just bet team again. Oh my God, not a problem. So how was the, the trip, of course? Um, when did you leave and how did everything go? First, I left on Wednesday, but there was a little delay. But while the delay, we checked in the Club Kingston, where we were treated well. I must say, thanks to the Club Kingston crew. Yeah. And then we arrived Thursday morning on arrival. We were greeted with our driver who drove us to our hotel and checked in. And from then it's been good. How's the hotel? Say again? How's the hotel? Well it's nice. It's nice, I must say. So are you happy? Yeah, are you having a good time, Pepito? Because you do realize tomorrow it's your team up against of Borussia Dortmund and it can only end up with one winner. Well, I'm having a great time and we already know the winner is Real Madrid tomorrow, no doubt. <laughs> Are you fully confident? Do you think, but let me just ask you, do you think Borussia Dortmund could at least score one goal? Because I already know that you think Real Madrid going to win. But do you think there'll be the opportunity for somebody from the Borussia Dortmund side to score against your side? It's football, so anything is possible. But if they score goals, it won't be more than one. <laughs> well, we've, we've, we, in the previous segment, uh, Pepito, we were talking about uh, Real Madrid's know how to, to get results, even if they, they, are, they are trailing in a match. My mind goes back to 2014 when they were trailing Atletico Madrid in the final 1 uh, 0 in the 90th minute. And then Sergio Ramos's header brought it level and sent it into extra time. And then Real Madrid won by four goals to one, which was stunning. You're, you're trailing a game 1 0 with ticks left on the clock for the game to end, and you end up winning 4 1 in extra time. So that tells you about the metal of of Real Madrid. But when you were on the show a couple of weeks ago, you did tell us that you're a fan of German football, even though Real Madrid is your club team. Um, no, no regard then for Borussia Dortmund and the German stars that are in their setup? No, because we have a German star in Real Madrid team as well. And this is his last club game. Yes. Yeah. So, so we have to make that special part. Yeah, I, I, I get the point that you're making. What about Luka Modric? Do you do you um, embrace his uh, presence on the field in his advancing years because he still has a lot of quality even though his energy and his speed would have declined in the past decade? Uh, yeah, Madrid is a legend. Madrid is a legend, I must say. And coming on second half, he knows how <laughs> to close game and, <laughs> and finish game. So yeah, we look forward to him coming on in the second half. What he will replace him, Tony Cruz. <laughs> what will your celebration be like tomorrow, if or when Real Madrid scores? No, not if. Well, the celebration has begun already because we went to the parade earlier today at Regent Street. And trust me, it's amazing to know so much people all over the world love Madrid because the jerseys are sold out. Can't get a Bellingham jersey, you know. We are in his hometown, so we have to win this as well. Yeah. And. We have to make sure we go there by 3 o'clock our time tomorrow, which will be 9, back home. Yeah. So we're going there early to greet the team <laughs> and, uh, uh, and let the celebration start from there. Yeah. You, you, you said, talk, talk, talk us a little bit more, uh, Pepito, about the parade. What was that parade like and are you good at estimating numbers? What was the crowd size? Oh, that crowd size was about... I'm sure it was over 10,000 people. Wow. wow. This, All Real this Madrid? In the streets of London? Yes. Just on Regent Street. One street. One street. Yeah. Pa parading. 
parading people, taking photos, people playing penalty shootout, people drinking Heineken, people having a good time. So how many Heinekens did you have? I never had it. <laughs> <laughs> so even have a celebration until after the game. <laughs> so what, what, minutes before kickoff, let's, you know, transpose your mind to tomorrow. Um, how are you going to feel a minute before kickoff, being live in the Wembley Stadium, watching a, a match that maybe a year ago you didn't think you would be watching, and watching your favorite team as well? Wow, oh, that will be a moment, you know? Because mm -hmm. I know Madrid fans over the world, we create the best atmosphere. So mm -hmm. being a part of that tomorrow will be, a... I can't even say it. <laughs> We're told that you toured Stamford Bridge as a, as a, as a non-Chelsea fan. I'm not too sure mm -hmm. about that connection, but can you, can you talk to us about that? Yeah, that was a good tour, I must say. The tour guide was, she was good. <laughs> and she asked, even the Arsenal fan was there, and I, I said yes, so. <laughs> but she made the tour special, I must okay. say. Okay. You're pretty brave to admit that you're an Arsenal fan in, in Chelsea territory. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal, we go. So, you have to be brave to do that, you know? Did you take any pictures? Yes, we got a lot of content. We got a lot of photos. Took part in game, everything. Mm. All right, well, uh, Pepito, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for you that you've gotten this opportunity. I know you had said you were planning a, a summer trip in the UK for the Euros as well. So, it's going to be a double special summer for you, isn't it? Yes, to be the best summer of my life and to start it this way, I could ask for anything better. The summer where Tony Cruz retiring, so, you know, it's just a legendary moment. Yeah. How, how, how good is Tony Cruz? Well, the best midfielder in the world. In the world? <laughs> you mean right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, you're a real, real Madrid fan. I, I can hand you that. <laughs> I can hand you the Real Madrid fan trophy. Um, yeah, thank he, you. He, he, he's pretty special, but I'm not sure if too many people will agree with you. Well, um, I hope for your sanity that the result goes your way tomorrow, because if it doesn't, um, I, my heart would go out to you because it's a special opportunity that you have had. And the best thing that can happen for you is that your team delivers on this special evening that you'll be having at the Wembley Stadium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maria, I don't want us to win, though, but I know. we will. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad that you already know my sentiments. But before you leave us, I'm going to ask you to predict the match tomorrow. The score line. 3 1 in favor of Real Madrid. How much? 3 1. Yes, sir. 3 1. Okay, I got you. All right, Pepito. So I'll link you after the match. Hopefully, you'll be the one smiling and I'll be the one sad. Because if not, game on. Enjoy. We'll talk again. All right. Thank you. Take care, guys. <laughs> All right. Pepito Barrett Jr. Right. there. He is our winner of the Jet, the Joss Bet, and, of course, Sportsmax UCL promotion. So he will be watching the Champions League live tomorrow. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back, Lance. <laughs>